Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, we will talk about the Elementor Pro's Theme Builder. All the fundamentals, all the concepts that you need to know about the Elementor Pro Theme Builder. This video is a part of playlist called Elementor Basics. So if you want to learn each and everything about Elementor, check out Elementor Basics playlist on the channel. Let's get into Elementor Pro's Theme Builder. Now if you are absolutely new to Elementor, start with the basics of Elementor. We all know that Elementor can create pages and posts. It can also edit pages, posts and custom post types that we have created with CPT UI or any other plugin. But what is this theme builder, right? Well, theme builder is feature of Elementor Pro, which lets you build parts of your website that would usually require your theme. So you can see that it has four sections. The first section is header, the second section is footer, and third section is single, and the fourth section is archive. Now, don't be confused between these and these. So whenever you're creating a template in Elementor, it stays within your Elementor template section itself. But theme builder is a bit different. So when you're creating a header, you're essentially saying to WordPress that don't use the header that comes from a theme, but rather use the header that I'm defining with Elementor Pro. So I'll just click on add new. I'll select header. Let's create a header. I'll call it my new header. You can give it any name and you can simply click on create template. And similarly, you can add a new footer to well your footer. And once you click on add new header, it gives you all the available templates for that particular header or that particular template. Since we have chosen header, it gives us some of the pre-built templates for header. If you create or if you choose to create a new footer, it will give you the templates to choose footer. Now you need not use the header template itself. You can simply click on this X button and you can use any of the templates for your header or you can build everything from the scratch using the typical element away. You can also insert footer templates into header. It doesn't matter what you're creating here. All it matters is what you want to display. So since we've selected header, whatever design you apply and publish will be made as your website header. Let's actually pick the header itself. I'll search for header, click on header. So these are the header templates. I'll insert this one. And there's one more thing about theme builder templates. When you're creating a new page in Elementor, by page, I mean page template. So whenever you're creating a new page template in Elementor, you're creating the content itself. Or whenever you're creating section in Elementor, you're inserting all the content that you need. So you use the widgets such as text editor widget, heading widget, and you build the content itself. But in theme builder, it's a bit different. You build the layout for the content that comes later dynamically from the user. I'll explain what that means. So we've chosen a header and you can see that it already fills the things with the things on your website. So you can click on this and it has picked a menu for this menu and it will pick from the available list of menus that you've created in WordPress. So that's what I mean. So the content comes from the user dynamically generated you just define the layout for the template or in this case we are just defining the layout for our header you can use any widget you can drag in unlimited elements croc block widgets doesn't matter i'll just add in an image widget i'll just drag it in i'll choose my logo i'll change the size i'll apply it you can put any widgets into this and once you hit on publish it will ask you to set conditions for the template so it will ask you where you want to show this template or in this case, where you want to show this header. And this is really powerful. So when you click on add condition, the default condition will be automatically added. Now it's just showing me include entire site. So it means show this header across my whole website. I'll publish this. So if I save and close, the template is published. Now let's go to our website header. We'll visit our site and we'll see if our header is published. And you can see our header is published, right? Even if I visit any page, this is the header that we have, right? So that's cool. And what about 
what if we want to exclude this header from few pages or few posts or few things on our website you just click on this right arrow click on display conditions now it brings us back to the conditions you just add another condition but now since you want to exclude it click on the drop down and choose exclude I just don't want this header to appear on my home page I'll click on this and you can choose the condition I'll choose singular and once you choose singular it will give you even more options to choose within singular so if I click on that it will show me front page which stands for my home page so if you have statically set a home page this works so if I choose my front page it will show my template across my whole site except my home page I'll save and close this now I'll refresh or I'll visit my site again I'll click on or I'll just type wpfreedom.com which is my site I'll hit wpfreedom.com and you can see now the header is not the one that we just defined right I'll just close this one the header is this but since we've set the conditions to not show or exclude home page it's not showing up on the home page if I go to any other page so if I click on this you can see that particular header in action if I want to hide this from this particular page which is actually a category you can do that same way you did that for a home page click on display conditions let's say I want to exclude it from my home page and also I want to exclude it from this category which is beginner sky so I'll add another condition which is to exclude and I'll just choose archives because categories fall, fall under archives I'll click on archives and now that category is beginner's guide so I have to choose that category I'll just click on categories and that's beginner's guide right search for the category so now it will exclude from archives and that archives that I want to exclude from are basically categories and within that category I'm actually excluding it from this particular category which is beginner's guide if I remove this it will exclude it from all the categories but if I choose a specific category it will exclude this design from that particular category so I'll just save and close now let's refresh this to see how that looks like even now the header is not present because we've chosen to exclude it from home page and also from the category which is beginner's guide similarly you can pick any of the conditions that you want all you need to do is to click on this you can also save it as a template it will obviously be saved as a template but it will just be available within your library you can also save it as a draft if you didn't publish it click on display conditions now I'll remove this category I'll remove this condition I'll exclude it from maybe a page now it doesn't have I'll exclude it from my 404 page I'll click here I'll click on singular and I'll click on all singular and if you scroll down there's something called 404 page I'll just select that so it'll exclude it from my entire site sorry it'll include this design across my site it will exclude from the front page and also my 404 page similarly you can do mix and match of these conditions to display it or hide it wherever you want now let's type a random URL that doesn't exist and it will obviously show the 404 page and you can see that the 404 page doesn't have the header that we set because it's following the conditions that we've set in here now these conditions can be set for any theme builder template so it can be set for your footer it can be set for your single page post or any other template now what are single page templates let's go back I'll just click on this hamburger icon click on exit to dashboard and what if you really want to disable this template right you just click on theme builder templates what if you really want to disable this template well it's easy it's the same way you make a post as a draft basically these templates are custom post types so all you need to do is to click on quick edit and change the status from published to draft and click on update so that will disable your theme builder template no matter which template it is you don't have to delete your template now if I go to my 
any other page it will not show that particular template because we've just made it a draft now if you want to publish it again the same thing click on quick edit click on status and change it to published and just click on update and now that particular template will be applied you can see now the header turns live so we've created header the same thing for footer well you can create a template for a footer drag any widgets into it put any items in it and publish it and also choose conditions now what is the single now when you create a new post or in wordpress it gets the design from your theme right so when you click on single and when you click on add new you are essentially defining a design for that particular template or in other words whenever you create a new post this will be the design or this will be the template applied to that so i'll call it my new post design again we'll click on create template like i said it will show us appropriate blocks for us to choose now it selects single post from the list of available blocks and it shows us all the blocks that we can insert now in order to make theme builder template an actual template the content or the widgets are actually supplied by elementor pro so i'll show you what i mean by that if you click on insert let's insert a design just to show you how it works now i've inserted the template but all these items are grayed out that's because i don't have these items in my actual post so if i click on the item it shows featured image and if i click on this it shows post excerpt so these are widgets required to design your post template if you click on the widgets button those will be shown at the top of the page right so in order to build your post template you need these widgets you need post title or you need post excerpt you need post content the content that you add from within gutenberg interface when i click on this this is the post content widget similarly all the contextual options or all the dynamic widgets such as post comments are supplied by elementor pro so that's really smart now i don't have featured image i don't have an excerpt but anyway we'll add a new post and it also has this template as a part of it i'll hit publish and here the same thing you can choose where you want to apply this it says include posts and all posts let's leave that at the default you can also filter it uh, within particular posts or you can exclude it from particular categories or tags or anything like that so i'll just save and close for now we'll go to the dashboard let's create a new post i'll click on dashboard let me add a new post i'll just click on add new and the content like i said can be added dynamically by the user so title may be elementor dynamic test let's pick an image let's add any content i'll click on add new i'll add another block i'll choose one from the media library i'll choose this i'll click on select now all this content is basically the post content you'll understand what i mean by that also let's add a quote i'll just click on this button that will bring up the options for the document in this case for the post I'll click on the post. I'll click on featured image. Let's also add a featured image because we've added that as a part of our design. So I'll just add this as the featured image. I'll click set featured image. Let's also add an excerpt. And what else? You can also choose categories and tags. It doesn't matter. I'll just publish. Let's view our post. Let's see how that post would look like. Like I said, this is the design and the content comes dynamically from the user so the post content post title and all that will be filled by the user and you can see the post title all this and this is featured image right so from within the template this is blank because we didn't have featured image as of now you can click on here this is the featured image widget and that gets automatically filled by the featured image when the user fills in and you can see that this is the excerpt so i'll just put this right next to this so next thing we have is post excerpt so you see the excerpt there and after that we have this section so that section is there in the template 
also the list and all the content that we added from the Gutenberg interface which is the post content widget you can see all the content right and then at the end you have this template and also you have this post navigation to show previous or next posts and you can also have related posts whatsoever you like right all this just by creating a template so we created a single post template and we applied the design to all posts what if i want to apply this to a particular category or a post of a particular category well it's simple click on display conditions i'll remove all posts i'll just click on include so i'll choose category and the category i want to apply this design to is beginner's guide so this design will only be applied to the posts that have this category i'll just save now i'll come back and let's refresh this page and see how what happens to this particular layout and the layout is changed because the the post that we added here doesn't have the category right and we mentioned in our template or in the conditions that this design should be applied in the category and the category is beginner's guide so let's try adding the beginner's guide category to our post and then let's see so i'll remove it from tutorials click on beginner's guide update since the category of this is changed let's refresh the page again and once you refresh the page the template is applied because it now satisfies the condition which says category beginner's guide similarly you can add other categories so you can click on include you can also add it to add this template to not just posts but also to pages but since we're talking about the single post template we'll limit it and we'll actually limit this to all posts and we'll limit you can also limit the post design to the posts uh, by, posted by admin which is me or you can exclude it or exclude this design from a particular author maybe you can have a design each design unique design for each author or maybe you can have a template or unique design for each category so the possibilities are endless as you can see here so you can exclude it from maybe a particular post so let's say i just want to exclude it from this post which is elementor dynamic test you can do that so what i'm essentially saying here is to include this in the category beginner guide but then i want to exclude it from posts and the post name or title is elementor dynamic test so this design will be applied to posts in category beginners guide except this post let's refresh this and it doesn't have it because we chose the condition specific to the post itself now let's create another post and i'll just add category beginners guide publish it i'll just click on view post since it falls under that category that single post template of course the content is not added and that's the reason why the content is not displayed like i said theme builder gets content dynamically from user so when you're defining a single post template whatever user enters in the gutenberg interface is what is displayed in the final design similarly you can do the same for a single page template so you can go back to the theme builder interface and you can create a template for a single page you can also create a template for a single post and even better you can also define a template for your single custom post type so if you have created custom post types using elementor or sorry using cpt ui you can also design or define the layout for that now one more thing to note here now the widget says featured image and it also says post excerpt but the post is generic in nature so it also applies to pages i'll show you what i mean let's actually create a single page template i'll call it my page layout i'll click on create template you can see the widgets present for the single page layout are also the same since they are dynamic they'll get the design from there and usually pages don't really need all the other content such as featured images they don't have that design but if you want you can include them in your design if you don't 
or if you click that X button and if you want to get those templates back you can simply click on this folder icon it gives all the blocks I'll just insert this design for my single page layout now the post title is this now it has post content so the content will be dynamically added either by Gutenberg or you can add the content using Elementor itself because pages page builders that's what they do right I'll hit publish again you can choose where to include this design you can include or exclude from pages exclude from particular pages and lot more I'll just click on that now let's test the route I'll add a new page I'll say my page don't worry we'll be designing each and every single page template single post template will do some cool design oriented stuff but in this we're just covering the basics so that you'll understand how to work with theme builder so I'll just add some random content with Elementor and that gets the design that we specified in here I'll click on edit with Elementor I'll just add in maybe a heading widget I'll add in a button or an image I'll choose an image I'll publish this now if I click on have a look you can see the preview of the page since we defined a single page layout all the pages created will have the design that we displayed right it gets all the gray background all the stuff that we added from the single page layout and when you click on the widgets button it has the same widgets so it has post title you might be confused about this but post title here refers to the page title right you don't have to be confused pages are nothing but a type of posts custom post types are again another kind of posts so by post content it means content of the post or the current post type so if you're adding single page template it gets content of the page if you're adding a single post template it gets content of the page since pages usually don't have featured image you may not use this drag this on use it as a part of your all pages design and there's one more thing you can click on the settings cog click on previous changes and here you can choose where you want to see this post design or here we have defined a design for our page right so you can choose where or which page you want this design to be displayed we created a page called my page right so I'll type my page and this is the page created what this essentially will do is to apply this design to that page and show the preview I'll just click on apply and preview wait for a bit it will take this template fill the content from that page and there you have it boom you can change the preview settings at any time so there's something called preview settings click on the settings cog and preview it as a different page so that way you can test out how this design would look on different pages with different content maybe you can then have another page design or another page layout so that's so that's Elementor Pro's theme builder in action now in addition to the widgets that you have here for displaying it so when you hover over this you can edit the single page layout so I can simply click on my page layout and it takes me to that interface now in addition to having the widgets that draw dynamic content you can also link individual widgets to have dynamic content so what do I mean by that so let's say I want to add a heading and this heading content should be actually the page title so I can click on the dynamic tag and I can see there's something called post title like I said pages are another kind of post and that's why it's post title it's the same so you can simply click that and it you can see that the content is not any static content but it gets the current page title similarly you can get other things maybe let's pick another widget let's pick text editor widget or maybe and here the content I'll again click this and if I choose the dynamic field to be post date in this case it will be the page date you can show you can see that it pulls in when this page is published and the content of that widget becomes this dynamic data that it pulls from the database right pretty cool so whichever widget has dynamic options you can also link them to all the available dynamic options so you can also pull in user information and it shows admin 
So any widget with dynamic options can also pull in contextual data such as post title, featured image. It, it can also pull in ACF field, but you can pretty much do all the stuff with the widgets that you have. You don't really have to worry much about it. We'll be discussing more about dynamic content in Elementor. Now, don't be confused between dynamic content feature in Elementor and the dynamic content plugin. They are two different things. Dynamic content is this. This comes with Elementor Pro and there is a separate plugin called dynamic content. Don't be confused. So that's theme builder in a nutshell. You can also create a design for your archives such as categories and stuff and then also apply conditions to that. So you can click on archive, click on add new. You can choose where or which archive should get that template. Maybe you can have a list of posts. You can add a subscription box to that archive template such as categories template. You can publish it. Again, whenever you view a category, that design will be applied to that. That's theme builder in a nutshell. Hope you guys understood it. We'll be discussing more about theme builder. Keep checking Elementor Basics playlist for more videos on this. We'll be designing each and everything. We'll be designing header. We'll be designing footer. We'll be designing single page layout, single post layout and apply it across creatively. We will also do archives design and a lot more. Stay tuned for that. That's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.